Hello students, welcome to Infinity Learn Need channel. This is Suresh, faculty of chemistry. Today we are going to see a topic, quantum numbers. Just in 10 minutes, you are going to grab the most expected questions from the NEET examination. What are quantum numbers? The quantum numbers, a set of four quantum numbers are given to an electron in an atom to give its identity in an atom. They are principal quantum number, azimuthal quantum number, magnetic quantum number, and spin quantum number. Let us see just a short recapture about this each quantum number. Let us talk about the principal quantum number. It is given by Niels Bohr. Whatever we study about the Niels Bohr theory is nothing but your principal quantum number. It actually signifies to which shell an electron belongs to. The shell can be K shell, L shell, M shell and N shell. And its values are going to be n is equal to 1, 2, 3 can have infinite numbers. And it signifies the radius and the size of the atom. And it signifies the electron energy in an atom that is given a radius is going to be 0.529 into n square by z angstrom units. And energy is going to be minus 13.6 into z square by n square electron volts and also it signifies the electron angular momentum in a circular path that is given as nh by 2 pi. This is what you call it as a quantization of angular momentum. And moving forward azimuthal quantum number this is provided by Sommerfeld and it talks about the shape size of the orbitals. It also signifies the subsidiary shells, the sub energy level to which an electron belongs to an atom. That is given as L. The value of L lies right from 0 to n minus 1 is the maximum. This is very important point. 0 to n minus 1 is the maximum. And also the particular for nth shell, L can never be equal to n. And based on that, you can have very number of good questions from the NEET examination. And the orbital angular momentum is also signified by azimuthal quantum number that is given as root over L into L plus 1 of H by 2 pi. If L value is 0, it is going to be S sub shell. If L value is 1, it is going to be P sub shell. And if L value is 2, it is going to be D sub shell. If L value is 3, it is going to be F sub shell. So, azimuthal quantum number is going to signify to sub which sub shell an electron belongs. And moving forward talking about the magnetic quantum number. The magnetic quantum number signifies the orientation of the orbitals. And this orientation is based on the under the influence of magnetic field each sub shell is further divided into its orbitals. And these orbitals are signified by magnetic quantum number. And this magnetic quantum number can have the values right from minus L including 0 and up to plus L. And in a particular subshell, based on this particular slide, definitely you can expect a question from neat examination. The number of subshells in a cell is going to be N, the principal quantum number. And number of orbitals in a shell is going to be n square. And the maximum number of electrons in a shell is going to be 2n square. That is Bohr's Bury principle. And the number of orbitals in a subshell is going to be 2l plus 1. And the maximum number of electrons in a subshell is equal to 2 of 2l plus 1, 4l plus 2. And talking about spin quantum number, it represents the spinning of electron about its own axis. The electron can revolve in a clockwise direction. It can have plus 1 by 2 spin quantum number. And the electron can revolve in anti-clockwise direction, can have minus 1 by 2. The value can be plus 1 by 2 or minus 1 by 2. And this particular spin quantum number is not related to quantum mechanics. And the spin magnetic moment is given as mu magnetic moment is equal to root over n into n plus 2 Bohr magneton and where n stands here number of unpaired electrons in the electronic configuration and also spin angular movement that spin angular momentum that is h by 2 pi is root 
S into S plus 1, S is the total spin of the electron. Let us see the summary of the quantum numbers. So the principal quantum number, azimuthal quantum number, magnetic quantum number and the spin quantum number and number of electrons. The principal quantum number talks about the shell, it could be K shell, L shell, M and N shell. The numbers are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. And talking about azimuthal quantum number, L values, L value starts from 0 and the maximum N minus 1 and it is going to be 0 if N is equal to 1, L is equal to 0 and M value is going to be minus L including 0 till plus L it is going to be 0. If it is 2, N value is 2, L value is, can be 0 as well as 1 you have to include and if it is 1 it should be minus 1, 0 plus 1 n is equal to 3, it is 0, 1, 2 and is 2, minus 2, plus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. Like that it can give various orbitals, s orbital, s orbital, p orbital, s orbital, p orbital, d orbital, s orbital, p orbital, d orbital and f orbital. Like that number of electrons that can be accommodated is given at the quantum level 2, 8, 18, 32. Let us discuss a good number of questions related to sure shot neat questions that is on quantum numbers, the orbital angular momentum of an electron in 2s orbital. So this is given as orbital angular momentum, orbital angular momentum can be given as root over L into L plus 1 of h by 2 pi. So where L is equal to quantum number and azimuthal quantum number for 2s orbital L value is going to be 0. If you put L value is going to be 0, orbital angular momentum is going to be simply 0 and you do not take the L values and you will be trapped here with number 2. You do not use that. Use the orbital, find out the orbital angular momentum quantum number and the answer is going to be 0 option for this. And going to one more question here. Which of the following set of quantum numbers are permitted? And based on this type of model of question, so far so many examinations, so many times the question has been asked. Here it is given n is equal to 3, l is equal to 2, m is equal to minus 2, l is equal to plus 1 by 2. And here n is equal to 3, l is equal to 2, m is equal to minus 1, s is equal to 0. Yes, cannot be possible. And here n is equal to 2, l is equal to 2, m is equal to plus 1 and s is equal to minus 1, n is equal to 2, l is equal to 2. So, n cannot be equal to 0, l cannot be equal to n value. So, this is also not possible. n is equal to 2, l is equal to 2, these two cannot be possible and l is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3 can be possible and m is equal to minus l2 plus l. So, this is possible. S yes, value is going to be possible. So, the answer for this question is going to be option 1. And one more question we can see here. Which of the following represents correct set of quantum numbers for the 4D orbital? For the 4D orbital, you can mind it. This number indicates N value. So, N value is going to be 4. For L value is equal to 0, L value is equal to 1, L value is 2, L value is 3. So, for 0 it is going to be s orbital, this is for p orbital, d orbital and f orbital. So, for d orbital L value is going to be here it is 2. So, let us check with 4, 2 combinations and m value could be minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1 and plus 2, any value is possible. So, that we can say 4, 2, 1 and minus 1 by 2 is the possible answer for this question. Fourth option is the correct answer. Let us discuss one more question based on the quantum numbers. Here consider the following set of quantum numbers and a set of quantum numbers combinations are given. You are asked which of the following set of quantum numbers is not possible. So, if you check with this which is not possible, n is equal to 3, L is equal to 0, M is equal to 0, yes it is a possible combination and where N value and L value are same, 
therefore this combination is not possible when you talk about the third combination 4 3 and minus 2 yes it is possible why because m value can become minus l2 plus l any value it can take whereas 1 0 minus 1 this is not permitted this is not permitted because m magnetic quantum number value should be in the range of minus l2 plus l so if l value is 0 m value is supposed to be 0 therefore this combination is not correct and one more thing same happened in this case so if l value is 2 m value should be minus 2 to plus 2 and it is given as 3 which is not correct therefore uh, second combination fourth combination fifth combination is not permitted you see so that my option for this question is going to be option 4 so dear students in this video we have just seen recapture of total quantum numbers principal quantum number azimuthal quantum number magnetic quantum number and spin quantum number and we discussed a very good number of questions which is sure shot for neat examination hope you like this session please like and share with your friends and subscribe to infinity learn neat channel thank you very much